Hello friends and thank you for tuning in to today's special episode for when I discuss my vegan blood test results and some of the vitamins and supplements that I take. But before we jump into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and let's jump into it. I just want to start this video by saying just because someone is vegan does not mean that they're going to be unhealthy and just because someone eats animals and animal products does not mean that they're going to be healthy in the same way that if it were flipped just because someone eats uh, animals and animal products does not mean that they're going to be super unhealthy and just because someone's vegan does not mean that they're going to be healthy because someone can be a vegan and eat fries and vegan ice cream and vegan donuts and vegan soda all day and that's not the healthiest way to live so it's all about how you're living your life and what you're eating and I also wanted to say about these results is I got my blood tested when I was still in college. I graduated this past May and uh, I had reached my one year vegan anniversary where I had gone one year of eating vegan and I just wanted to get my blood tested to make sure I was getting all the vitamins and nutrients that I needed from this diet and lifestyle. So I'm not gonna talk about all the vitamins and nutrients that I was tested for, because that would take way too long. But if you are curious about anything that I don't discuss, please leave it in the comment below and I'll answer back to you with what my result was. But I'm only gonna talk about calcium, protein, B12, vitamin D, and cholesterol. Um, so the reference range for calcium is 8.5 to 10.2 and my range was 9 so I was in the middle for calcium and for my protein the reference range is 6.4 to 8.2 and I was at 7.4 so that was in the middle range as well not super high not super low and I'm okay with that and I'll tell you why because Protein is this buzzword in our society. Oh, get your protein, you know? You go to the store and you see these packages with, oh, eight grams of protein per serving, or you see protein bars. And protein is important, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's as important as people make it out to be. Do you ever wonder why no one talks about vitamin A or vitamin K or potassium or fiber? because those are incredibly essential to living a healthy life, yet they're hardly discussed because these companies, these, corporation, these corporations, the animal agricultural system just wants you to buy their animals and animal products. And the most marketable way to market these animals and animal products is through protein. Because if they marketed it through how much they raise your cholesterol, no one would want to buy these products. But that's just my little tangent. <laughs> Let's move on to B12 and vitamin D. Now these were two vitamins that I was a little low in according to my doctor and according to these results, but I was not deficient in these by any means. Um, she's, my doctor told me that I'm perfectly healthy, but that B12 and my vitamin D levels could be raised higher. So the reference range for B12 is 200 to 1100 and the reason why it's such a huge range is because our body synthesizes its own b12 so your body makes its own b12 um and my levels were at 379 so i was at the lower range of that but not deficient um so right now i am taking this B12 supplement. This is the finest nutrition. B12, uh, this is the liquid little dropper thing. So one serving is one milliliter and you just 
put that under your tongue and it absorbs into your body. And for my vitamin D, the reference range for that was 30 to 100 and I was at 27. So I was um, borderline deficient or it was just very low, but not like terribly low, like a medical emergency, you know. Uh, my doctor just told me to take a vitamin D supplement, which I had been taking a spray of B12 and this vegan D3 vitamin. And I had been taking these two supplements, but I'm not the best with remembering to take my supplements. I need one of those little things that you put your pills into and all that. Um, to take this D and then I got a sediment reminder for this one because I was taking these like every other day or every few days so my doctor just told me you know be on it take those every day so now I take those every day and I also take this St. John's wart and Central Market is the brand because that's like the generic brand for one of the grocery stores that I go to sometimes. And um, this just helps with mood and it, it improves your mood. So like, why not take it? I like being in a good mood. <laughs> and this other one that I take is maca. And I take one to three of these a day or every other day. And these two are not like super essential like they're just nice to take because this one especially it boosts my performance in the gym it gives you so much energy and so when i know that i'm gonna go hard at the gym i take a couple of these um before going and it's like a pre-workout because it makes you sweat and it really gets your blood pumping but i would not suggest to take these after 2 p.m. because these can keep you up at night. I learned that after taking them later in the day and I was like, never again, I was up at like 3 a.m. and I couldn't figure out why. And I did that for like two or three times until I realized, hey, I think it's the maca that's keeping me up. But those are all the vitamins, the supplements that I take and if you have any questions about my vegan blood test results or if you have any vitamin recommendations or vitamin questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me for this video and I'll see you next time. Thank you.